So hello guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Android 11 on your Raspberry Pi 4. So for this, you need to install the OS. So for this, go to your browser and type this URL. Its link has been given in the description below. And so in this website, go to the first link and just click it. And then download the file. But if you're having problems downloading the file or it's like downloading really slow, I even have, I even have it in Google Drive and I'll be giving this link in the description below. But in this case, I've already downloaded the image file and I have it here. And now insert the SD card into your laptop or PC. And then if you have a if you have Bellina HA you can use it. Or if you have the Raspberry Pi imager, you can even use this. So if you are using a Raspberry Pi imager, you can just click on the choose OS and then first thing we have to do is to like format the SD card. So you can just click on erase, choose storage and then select your SD card and then click on write. So and wait for it to write. And as you can see, the SD card has been formatted. But if you are using the Bellina Etcher, you have to download something called the SD card formatter and, and then format your SD card using it. So after you have done formatting your SD card, like this is the way you for, uh, format the SD card using the SD formatter. You can just select the SD card and then click on format. So if you are using the Bellina Etcher, you can just flash from, uh, click on flash from file and then navigate to the place where you have like downloaded your Lineage OS file. So, if you are using your Raspberry Pi Imager, you can just click on Choose Operating System and then scroll to the end and click on Use Custom. And then navigate to the place where you have the image file. Then click on Open. Don't forget to extract the Im image file from the zip file when after you've finished downloading it. Then click on open and then choose your SD card storage and then click on write. And this will take some time. And now as you can see, I've installed the Operating system has been flashed onto my SD card. And now you can eject your SD card. Just right click on it and then select eject. And now take the SD card and then put it into the SD card slot of your Raspberry Pi. And then connect the USB type C power. But before that, make sure that you are connecting the micro HDMI to a monitor or a TV. So first connect this. And 
and then connect this and that's it and wait for the raspberry pi to boot the android os and then connect your keyboard and mouse to the usbs of the raspberry pi And now go to this go through this regular setup process and in here connect to your Wi-Fi And as you can see, the Android, the Android 11 has been installed on a Raspberry Pi. But one thing is missing, which is the Google Play services. The Google Play services are not available by default in this Lineage OS. So we have to install the G apps. And then open the browser. And then we have to install the Chrome, Google Chrome. Now, just type Google Chrome APK and then download it from a random website. And then, after opening Google Chrome, type this address. Sub hyphen hyphen ma dot w e b weebly dot com. And now, this is the same site that we had access to in our PC to download the Lineage OS. And now, scroll down and then you'll find this G Apps Package Download link. This G Apps is nothing but the Google Apps. And we have a G Apps software from, the, uh, from Xiaomi. So just click on this link. And you will be downloaded to uh, like redirected to the re uh, download page. And as you can see, the G apps are being downloaded. Just wait for them to be downloaded.
and now when the download has been completed just go back and then open the settings and in the settings go to system advanced go to gestures and then power menu and then just make sure that this is on now on your keyboard type press the f5 key and this brings the this brings us this menu to power off a restart and just select restart and then select recovery and now your raspberry pi will restart and now just when you get this screen just swipe this swipe this to allow modifications and then go or uh, click select install and then go to downloads and then just click on this zip file and then swipe this And now, when you get this screen, just select Wipe Dalvik. And then just swipe this. And then. And then select the logo and go back. And then click on Wipe. And then just like this. And now go to the home screen by clicking on the TRP recovery logo again and then select mount and then tick tick the system boot and data and then select system storage. And then select OK. And then go back to the home screen. And then select Reboot. And then select System. And now this will reboot your Raspberry Pi. And now go through the setup process once again. Now your Raspberry Pi has been reset and the Google apps have been installed. Now connect to the Wi Fi once again. And as you can see, the Play Store has been installed. And now you can open the Play Store and download some games. But before that, you have to sign in.
and then type your email address and password. And then, after signing in, you can download all your favorite games. And that's it guys. And I hope you are able to run Android 11 on your Raspberry Pi after watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And comment down below if you found this video helpful. And thank you for watching.